So each time I uh, each time I start these videos off, I normally get only like a couple of comments in each video, but I think a couple of you guys, producers and artists, have asked like what the beat is at the beginning, that little like saxophone beat. Um, it's actually, I mean, it's up on my website. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll drop a link to it in the description in case anyone anyone who had watched those other videos wondering where it is are still looking for it and yeah, want to jump on it. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description if you want to you want to take a listen and record some stuff to it. But um, that beat was actually initially made for uh, a rapper who lives in Kuwait, which is like kind of near like Qatar area, I think. Qatar, um, yeah, Qatar Doha. I mean, that's in Qatar. I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, what are you doing? God, people, honestly, when you go into a car park, people, some people just completely ignore the signs. Um, but yeah, so it was it was for this rapper in, in Kuwait, big guy called um, uh, Jabba. Fucking, honestly, he's a sick rapper, really versatile. And um, yeah, we was actually meant to do it for a video. I, I'm hoping it still happens because I do want to still post like good videos on the channel. Um, you know, in terms of like more story to it, more more editing, um, more of like a cool, I don't know, just like a cool visual thing to watch, and like a, and you actually can hear a song come out of it. Um, so I'm hoping that still carries on, but yeah, I hit him up last year, like December, start of December time to do a video together. He was more than down, he was replying like super quick. He was like, um, I was like, yeah, let me do it, let's do a song together, we'll drop it. Uh, can we drop it under my name? He was like, yeah, it's calm, as long as we do like a, if you do like a 10, a 10 pack of beats for me, I'll be happy with that. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? You know, he's a really good artist, I really want to work with him. So I did it. So yeah, I got the 10 pack of beats over to him, including that beat that you can hear, that you heard in the intro. And then, um, yeah, he just kind of ghosted, man, I can't lie. So I'm not giving up, I'm gonna keep hitting him up and see, not not spamming him, but just I'll just check in maybe in like a couple of weeks, maybe resend the pack of beats over to him and see just in case he missed it. But yeah, hopefully it happens. But um, yeah, I, I, was, I had a thought today because I've been doing some filming for uh, a sponsor um, slash, I'm kind of like, basically I'm creating content for a company, uh, basically just around their, pl around their plugins. It's not that, it's not, content that I'll post on my channels is, is content that they have for their channels just so they can post it um, but it got me thinking about like ways ways as, as, as producers especially if you're making content or uh, sort of started making content but obviously I'm making like a whole lot of money right now uh, in terms of not having the, the fan base to do it then yeah this kind of came to me man so I was thinking if you if you are a producer and you do make like you know you're trying to you're trying to have your own sort of brands in terms of you know posting regular content, you know, having your own kits, your own sample courses and stuff, and you're not quite there yet, then a really good way to, to, to bring in, well that's super dark, a really good way to bring in, uh, pull up that bit without dying, put it to auto, then I'll work, yeah. A really good way to um, to bring in some extra money in the, in the, in the time being, and, and also a really good way to, to gain experience and yeah, I guess just practice the whole the whole content creation thing without even having to post on your own channels and make money <laughs> is to do it for other companies because I do feel like there's been a shift in in what companies are spending money on in terms of you know basically advertising and, and the way they're getting their, their business up and running uh, it used to be and it still is to a certain and it still is is through sponsorships so basically a company will pay myself or another producer uh, a certain amount of money to, uh, oops, they'll uh, spend it, they'll pay you a certain amount of money, just depends on your audience size, depends on their budget, but they'll pay you a certain amount of money to basically promote their product on your channel. And um, I'll only normally do it if I really, if I actually mess with the plugin or I mess with the product. But the, on the flip side of it, this is where this will come in handy for you guys, is there's the side of it where companies pay you to provide content for them. So basically, you're getting paid to create content. It's basically a, a sponsor, but not for your own channels, if that makes sense, which is kind of a win-win because, you know, sometimes you don't want to clog up your own channel with lots of advertisements. So it's kind of like, you know, win-win. You get paid and you don't really have to, you know, uh, use, you know, um, I guess utilize your own audience to, to advertise to. So yeah, I think honestly, man, if you guys are into content crea creation and you've had a bit of practice in it, you've got yourself, you know, a good setup. All you need, I mean, the only thing you really need is a phone, some semi-decent lighting, 
um, and a solid home setup. You know, that's all it needs. And you can do all those things on a very tight budget if needed. Um, but yeah, as long as you've got those things, man, it's definitely worth, uh, sorry, if you've got all those things and you're posting, you've already got a body of work on your own social. So you've posted a lot of content, you know, a lot of TikToks, a lot of Instagram reels, a lot of YouTube content. Not all of them can be, some can be a lot of YouTube content. It doesn't have to be all of all free. But if you've got all of that, then it's definitely worth emailing companies, you know, small or big, doesn't matter. And just seeing if they need, and just seeing if they need content created, create, blah, blah, seeing if they need content for their socials. Cause honestly, cause it, it, it take, we all know, I mean, if you guys have already started making content, it does take a bit, of, it does take a chunk out of your, your own day. Um, and if you can get paid for it, then, you know, why not? So yeah, con business, I'm telling you now, businesses are always looking for people to create content for them because it's a big time saver for them and um, it's kind of like a win-win, you know, they, they, all they have to do is spend a little bit of their advertising budget, which they have to do anyway, because these companies, especially the bigger ones, they have to spend that budget in order to get the same budget for the next year, just for tax purposes and uh, just financially, it's way more viable for them to get rid of that budget. So there's no harm in asking, you know, go through, make a huge list of companies that you really want to work with, find, their, find a contact email, uh, reach out to them via social media and just say look like I've seen I've seen your content I'm a producer I really mess with the products I think I can provide you some value I can create some really good content for you uh, here's my here's my body of work give them this is why I said it's good to have your own body of work here's my body of work you know give them um, a link to your Instagram YouTube whatever and then um, yeah just see what they come back with you know some some of them might ignore you some of them might say they might not need anything others might not you know others might actually need some content creation so yeah it might be worth it's definitely worth looking down man it could be a good money maker for you in the meantime you know as a, like a even like a even just as a side hustle really to create content for you know other other companies man so yeah i thought that'd be kind of helpful man after just been doing a, bit, a little bit today for the company that i'm working with it's called sonnybull and yeah they do really cool plugins so i am yeah, i'm actually actually really like working with them but yeah, rant over, a bit of a longer one. Are we on seven minutes? Sheesh, to wrap this up, <laughs> we wrap this up quick. But um, yeah, plan is get back, just do something creative, man. I think I might not make full beats, I might just make some nice samples, some nice like really realistic ones, ones with some nice textures. And yeah, go from there. I'm not too sure yet, but yeah, I guess we'll find out when we get back to the studio. So I'll see you guys down there. Okay, vibe for today couple samples and then um, basically I'm going to include these samples as part of the new kit that's dropping uh, on the 27th, 27th 26th um, yeah I haven't really dropped any samples as part of a kit for a little while so I thought you know what let me just actually make like about 10-15 samples and throw them in there as kind of like I don't know it's kind of like a free bonus <coughs> whoa <laughs> my voice then fuck it out kind of like as a, as a free bonus when you know for whoever gets the kit basically uh, maybe make it like a limited edition kind of thing, but we'll, we'll, fi we'll, we'll figure it out. Get the screen recording going. So yeah, I'm just going to make like some samples. I'm going to start with like a nice starter to begin with. I pulled this from Splice. And then I might go the other way around, start from scratch and then add stuff from Splice. Or like just add some cool like, I don't know, just like top lines and stuff that's been recorded live. This is the sample we got. Give me like Kanye vibes. So let's get started. And then I want the sample to be at like one, like 125. I'll pitch it up by nine semitones. Just throw some half time on it. Pan it. Yeah, let's try that. Make this one unique. We'll try reversing this side. Yeah, but we'll just chop it on beat. And just rearrange it. Yeah, 
I'm gonna bounce this part. I wanna, it's a bit too hectic at the minute. And maybe slow it down even more like half time, even just half time the reverse part maybe. Maybe like a didn't like a swing. Might be able to find it in the chop. Maybe. Maybe down five. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. I think maybe just come in with like some of my own stuff now. Um, blah, 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 blah. What am I thinking? Maybe some like orchestral sounds. Oh yeah, that's kind of epic. Kind of cool. Okay, what else? <clears throat> Maybe like a, some strings, like pick, picked strings, like piccolo strings. That's not what it's called, is it? Piccato strings. Piccato. <laughs> Pizzicato. Fucking hell, I can't speak today. One of them days. Yeah. Yeah. Half time on that. This section maybe we go for like some kind of choir like a like a single male like not in relationship status terms but just a male by himself just doing like a something like that maybe i could just do it myself We just stack a bunch of layers on it as well. Maybe one more. This could sound like way too much, but just having fun with it, man. Still like a constant one. Defo need some auto tune. Okay, maybe just a nice bass, just fill out that low end. Yeah, this is kind of a fun one, man. It's, it's kind of evolving nicely. Thing is, like, we could even just take this and then even flip 
what we've got here, you know, we can just turn into something really crazy. put like a, a gate effect on it, yeah, like a side chain or something. And now we could even just like mess around with it even more, thinking of pitching it down a couple semitones. Textures in. <clears throat> so, like, I've got a cool idea. I think I like this loop as it is, so I'll bounce it, but I also think it's like more flippable. So this is like one loop and we could even just transform this into a completely different loop, you know, completely separate vibe. So let's just do that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know what I'm thinking in terms of flipping it. I just know it's, it's definitely flippable. Maybe just with some crazy effects or something, I don't know. Half time. Let's just throw like random shit here, really. My loop area. That's kind of hard. Well, I don't know where this is going, but <clears throat> sounds kind of weird. I just tried some like basic drums on it, see what happens. It's kind of cool, man. A little bit different. Right, it's like crystallizer effects. Yeah, okay, I can hear some like piano on this. Just a real basic one, like 21 Savage kind of style, just like doom doom. That's a terrible example, but I'll just show you what I mean.
some half time on that. <laughs> this is getting stupid now. Wow. Lock in. Slap a snare, fuck it, why not? Could even be a beat by itself too. And I kind of think that's it, you know, we've got two loops. Weirdly, like two loops out of one. Normally, I, I assumed I was gonna be just finished with that first part of the sample, but yeah, I just think adding like stupid amount of effects to it just, just turned into something completely different, man. And it kind of knocks, to be fair. It's a bit of a knocker. So, I mean, that could be just a beat by itself. Super, like even those simple drums, man. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What we're we gonna talk about tomorrow. I don't even know, man, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, definitely try and definitely try and try out emailing some companies, man. Just going back to the start of the video, just just try and email some companies about creating content for them, man. Honestly, like a lot of you kind of treat it as like you're being a freelance producer, a freelance content creator for them. Like there's nothing wrong with doing that, man. Especially as a side hustle. So yeah, definitely worth doing that. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Have a great day or evening wherever you're watching this from. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.